What's up guys? Welcome back to Antigua. So in the last video you saw just a little taste of the streets while I was trying to find a place to get a shave. So I hope you enjoyed that. But uh, today I'm gonna go for a little wander around and I don't really have too much planned. I didn't really do any research so uh, I just know there's a few different spots that I want to visit. There's some nice churches and ruins and things like that. Uh, so I'm gonna head over to the uh, old church that's by where I'm staying right now. And so for this video, obviously, I didn't do a lot of research, so I'll just be putting like the, the names of the places and the years that they were built and things like that below. Um, yeah, because it's kind of just a random wander today. Uh, I'm gonna go here and kind of around the center, make a loop back and uh, finish it off for sunset somewhere. Uh, I'd heard there's a nice spot up on the hill over here, so maybe we'll try for that. Uh, but there's this really cool old cathedral by where I'm staying. You can maybe just see it here. Maybe just. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a pretty laid-back video, I think. Just wandering, rambling, all that kind of stuff. The usual, I guess. Uh, but I don't have too much planned, so. Anyway, today is actually my last day, or second last day, in uh, Antigua. And then I'm headed off to the lake. I've really enjoyed it here, such a cool vibe. Uh, really laid back. There's not a ton to do in the town other than wander around and see some cool sights. Um, but there's tons of things to do around, hiking. Uh, the lake is where I'm headed next, it's not too far away. So, tons of stuff to do. I've spent a week here. I could spend longer. I actually really, really enjoy it here. Sorry, it's a little bit windy. Hopefully you can hear me. But uh, yeah, it's a cool place. So the main piece of information that I'll give for this video is that uh, Antigua used to be the colonial capital of Guatemala until like the mid 1700s when it was leveled by an earthquake. So some of the churches that you see uh, were actually rebuilt. And then ones like this one that I'm headed to right now uh, are still sort of like in ruins almost. So it's uh, an interesting dynamic. And then on top of that, you get uh, these beautiful cobbled streets and uh, different colored buildings and stuff, which as you guys know by now, I'm sure it's one of my favorite things. You can see that it's uh, slightly collapsed on the one side, definitely assuming that's from the earthquake. <laughs> you got my man half hanging out of the sunroof there as well too. Looks like there's also like a museum here as well, but I would assume it probably costs some money to go inside, so I'm not going to do that. And I uh, just see here that it says you can't take the camera inside, so I won't do that. You can see here uh, kind of what it was supposed to look like before it fell. Very beautiful. I saw there was like a little park or something over here. I'm gonna try to see if I can go to it. Get one more shot of the church as well. It's like a cool little market area around here as well too. Actually, a lot of little market area. And like any good temple, there is the religious gift shop as well. This looks super nice. 
really peaceful little like garden area here. Super cool. I definitely did not know this was here. A couple nice flowers. And excuse me for my ignorance, but I'm just going to assume that this is San Francisco. But I actually do not know. Um, no, it definitely is not. <laughs> I can't quite read it, but it definitely doesn't say San Francisco. So don't listen to me on anything that I've never researched. Very, very cool here as well. beautiful and then you can see you get the uh, the river and the waterfall and then you've got uh, the tap coming out of the waterfall so that's a pretty cool concept oh it looks like there's sort of like a mosaic over here as well too Jesus and his disciples uh, unfortunately you can't really see that on camera very well, but trust me when I say it's cool. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Let's see what's over here. Oh, it looks like this is the uh, entrance into one of the tombs. And no cameras. All right, I won't be going there then. Really cool. All right, well that's a great start to the day, I would say. A uh, really peaceful area, beautiful church, and there's uh, a ton more beautiful churches and buildings and stuff throughout this city. So let's head back out into the streets and see what else we can find. It's amazing you get these super colorful buildings like you have on the left here uh, and then you have these really old sort of like stone structures and stuff here such a cool contrast it's a beautiful day here as well too it's probably like 30 32 degrees celsius and uh, lots of sun a little bit of clouds but uh, yeah, it's just perfect. I think just up here around the corner, uh, a couple blocks down is where the Central Park is. This is sort of like the center of Antigua, the main like tourist section. And uh, yeah, this is where everything's going on. It's the Colonial Museum over there as well too. literally history everywhere you go in this city. Got guys working to keep the city clean as well too, which you always like to see. Not only for the sake of keeping the city clean, but it also keeps people employed. So it's uh, kind of a win-win situation. So here we are. This is the Cathedral of Antigua in front of me here. And uh, like I said, some of these colonial buildings and the park is to my left. So there's the cathedral. And here's the park area. We'll go through, go through the park in a second here. It doesn't look like anybody is selling anything right now. It'll probably be for later. Nice Mercedes. All right. 
let's head over here. Go we'll take a little wander through the park. Oh, I'm missing my friend who was right here who tried to sell me ice cream and weed at the same time. It's a good combination, I must say. Oh, you know what? He's actually right here. So if you need ice cream and weed, come to the Central Park of Antigua. You'll have both in the same spot. Birds flying right at your head. So as you can see, it's quite a busy area. It's Saturday today, so everybody's kind of out and about. But if you don't like birds, AKA my mother, um, don't come here. There's another uh, cathedral just up over here as well too, which I'll head over towards and uh, try to get out of some of the chaos of the Central Park here. Of course it is nice to uh, come to like a bustling area with all the local people and everything, but uh, yeah, I also like going to some quieter streets as well too. Try not to get run over as usual. Actually, not sure where this cathedral is. Some expensive massage. Chinese food, <laughs> all the things you could ever want. And a hotel for when you're tired from eating too much Chinese food and having your expensive massage. This is actually the place that I was looking for. Uh, so even though I gave up, I was literally right here. <laughs> I'm sure there's a life lesson in there somewhere, like uh, don't give up because you could be right around the corner or something like that. But not trying to be inspirational here, you know. So you can see here as well the name of the place. And Everything's in Spanish, so I can't quite tell when it was supposed to have been built, but I'll look that up later. All right, back to the streets. I'm gonna go to basically one of the most like iconic spots in the city now. Uh, there's like a big arch and this really, really cool little yeah, I think it should be nice. So you'll definitely be able to see a lot of tourists in this area because this is literally right in the center of like the tourist zone. I said it's a pretty iconic spot. <laughs> there we go. Probably thinks he's gonna be famous. It's unfortunate for him. I won't tell him any other thing though. So if you look 
behind me here as well. Uh, you can see uh, Volcano Agua just towering over the city. Such a cool sight to see. And then here we have uh, the archway that I was talking about. Nirvana again. The Guatemalan people are determined to get me demonetized and copyright struck. It's the same song too. I also came to uh, this wine bar a couple of nights ago and it's a really, really nice spot. Beautiful, beautiful building and lots of different wines. They're all imported wines, but they have some local rums and stuff, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, safe to say we tried a lot of different wines. So if you're looking to spend a little bit more money, that's a good spot to go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Even Baby Yoda likes this part of town. But yeah, there's a ton of like more like upscale bars and stuff down this street. So if you're wanting something a little fancier, you can definitely come down here. Busy, busy, busy here too. see these really really cool designs sort of like plastered on super cool wandering down this tiny little side street. So this is right around the corner from uh, that crazy little area there near the church and everything. And uh, basically the only one here. This is such a cool little spot. like the main sites that I wanted to show um, I think I used to double check my phone here uh, yeah that's it all right cool so now we're free to just wander around um, I'm gonna make a loop sort of back towards my hostel I think is the plan for that um, so the, the town itself the city I guess is quite small I'm not exactly sure of the population I'll put that below as well uh, but it's a very, very walkable city, very safe. 
because um, I know there are some questions of safety in Guatemala, uh, but the two places I've been so far and traveling in between them, I felt uh, entirely safe. So I would say, Hola, buenas tardes. Um, I would say basically, there there are no concerns for me. At least you have to be careful as you do anywhere in the world. And uh, yeah, don't be dumb and you'll be fine. Uh, but Antigua specifically is quite safe. I've been out at night, I've been out during the day, I've been in many different areas, you just have to be smart. So I'm not sure why, but I had this idea that Guatemala would be a lot cheaper than Mexico, or at least cheaper than Mexico. But uh, so far I found that not to be true. The currency is actually stronger here, so... In that case, it ends up being a little bit more expensive, but I find that things in general are like a little bit more expensive. So I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I thought the tourist infrastructure here would be less developed than Mexico, but it's actually not true. Um, as far as places to stay, you can find cheaper places to stay in Mexico as far as hostels and things go. Transportation, you can find cheap transportation here, but it's more difficult to sort out cheap transportation than it is in Mexico. Mexico you can take a colectivo very very easily with limited Spanish and get anywhere. Uh, here you can take a chicken bus and it's sort of like a colectivo. It's actually a, they're old American school buses that they've converted into uh, like transportation from city to city. But I don't know. It seems to be a little bit more expensive for transportation as well. Food definitely. Uh, you can find cheap places to eat. Um, street food's a little bit less abundant uh, than in Mexico at least from what I found so far. So, yeah, in general, I would say Guatemala is on par with some of the more expensive places in Mexico, uh, or like a little bit more expensive than some of the cheaper places in Mexico, if that makes any sense. Uh, but it's still affordable coming from like a Western country. So, uh, you definitely won't break your bank, but uh, you definitely won't be saving about as much money as uh, I thought I would at least. Gallo beer, the uh, sort of like typical beer here in Guatemala. It's uh, not great, but uh, it does the job and it's pretty cheap, so can't really complain about that. Anyway, yeah, I've enjoyed wandering around. I'm gonna head back towards my hostel now, and uh, yeah, I'll keep the video running, show you the streets and everything along the way. And uh, yeah, when I get back, I'll show you where I'm staying. Really, really nice people there. I love staying there. Uh, I've made a lot of friends and the place is really nice. The rooftop's super chill, so definitely recommend it. It's called the Purpose Hostel. Yeah, and then we're gonna go buy a beer and go watch the sunset. One of my favorite parts about traveling. So this here is my street. You can still see Agua. And uh, you can also see Fuego, uh, but not right now. The buildings are in the way. But uh, when I get up to the rooftop, I'll show the surrounding areas. It's a really, really nice view. So it's a nice, quiet little area where I'm staying as well, too, which is nice. And here we are. Purpose Hostel. Hello, how are you? Good. I was making a video of uh, the city. I figured I would show the hostel as well. Yeah, that's cool. Appreciate yeah. that. So yeah, this is the Purpose Hostel. And this is the best man right here. <laughs> there you go. So they have a nice little uh, common kitchen. Free drinking water as well, which is nice. And some good spots to sit. Everybody in my room is sleeping, so uh, try to be quiet. I don't know. 
Yeah, there's like an upstairs spot here. I'll show you where I work. So, some nice little desks and stuff here. Place to charge the laptop, so I just hang out up here when I work. Shared bathrooms as well. I think all of the Netherlands is here. It's one of our Dutch friends that we went out for beers with the other night. So I'm sure you're able to tell that uh, I didn't end up going to the viewpoint that I had talked about. I uh, just ended up finding out that it closes at 6, so it wouldn't give me enough time to actually see the sunset. Uh, the sun doesn't set until just after 6 o'clock, so it didn't really make a lot of sense. So I figured we have a rooftop, beautiful views from here. Might as well just uh, do a time lapse from the rooftop and hang out up here. Had a beer, having a little bit of my rum now. some flat coca-cola not the best at least the rum's good though <laughs> but uh, yeah I really enjoyed hanging out in Antigua I've enjoyed being here all week just wandering around taking it easy there's not a ton to do but uh, that being said there also is a lot of really cool places that you can visit and cool restaurants cafes bars, pubs, all that kind of stuff. So you can definitely stay here for a long time and find just cool little spots to hang out. Uh, but as a whole, um, it's kind of a hub to go to other places, Lake Adatlan, doing some of the volcano hikes, stuff like that. Um, so it's also an option for that. Easy to get to Guatemala City for the airport as well too. Uh, but overall, the vibe here is incredible. I really love it. Um, I could spend even longer here. Uh, my week is almost done, headed to the lake after this. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, uh, but uh, I love it here, would love to come back. And I think I actually will be back for a couple of days after the lake to do the hikes. So uh, definitely looking forward to that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed my day today and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the time lapse of the sunset as well. It was quite beautiful tonight with the clouds and everything. Um, so yeah, take care guys. See you in the next video.